Legend of Total War here with part 21 of my Rome 2 Legendary um, Imperator Augustus Let's Play campaign as Armenia. On the last episode, I declared war on Mark Antony and have taken so far, I think, four of his territories. Let's see, one, two, three, four, no, five of his, no, six of his territories, and destroyed one of his full stacks. Most of his forces must be fighting in the west, which is why I've, uh, taken such good advantage to this, I suppose. Now then, we need to keep recruiting and lay the hurt down on him. Can no longer recruit the, um, what are they fucking called? Uh, those spearmen. Noble spearmen. Not until I research some more things, which I'm not really focusing on just yet. The Cartley Axemen seem okay. Okay, and over here, we're going to trespass on their lands. Oh, hang on. We haven't fully recovered. Oh, it's just the artillery. That doesn't really matter. Yep, just trespass on their land. I don't give a fuck. I want to be in range before we make the attack. Reputation no longer really means much. Because nobody's going to trade with me, and I don't give a fuck. I'm making tons of cash. I'm actually making a lot of money off trade, but whatever. Tons of cash off... off um, Taxes anyway. Okay, I want you guys to be sabotaging him. Keep him stuck here. Good. And we've got tons of cash as well. That's always good. These guys are getting upgrades. Are they young? Yeah, 24 years old will have you for a long time. And you're 35. That's less good. Sabotage them. That's alright. It wasn't vital. So these guys probably don't like me very much right now, and I don't really give a fuck. They can kiss my ass. And you, I just want you to keep an eye on this general area. Let nobody fucking come down here. Now then. Let's cycle through military units to see exactly what we need to do. So you sabotaged on this turn. We don't need you here. We need you inside the settlement. Doing stuff. Okay. You're still needed here. I've already used you guys. You need to make your way back to Armenia to recruit those extra Azat Knights, but... Um, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to go down south. We've got our trade partners down there. Leave them be for now. Making decent cash off them. Um, what are we going to do with you? It seems to make sense that we should come after Admatu. It's a fair distance away, and we do need to recover our losses, so just stay here another turn. Essentially, it's providing public order bonuses, that's fine. Okay, this motherfucker gets an upgrade. I do love my strategic generals. Now then, buildings. We've got tons of cash. Let's spend some. Let's actually start from the bottom. So Bithynia et Pontus, leave it alone. Uh, Syria, Semisata. Let's not tax... Oh, hang on, this is worth a lot of money. It's just one territory as well. Um, why is it worth so much? Is it due to the winemaker, which is providing six public order? Yep, it's good. Um, can't convert that. Not that we really need to. It, this provides no garrison whatsoever. None. Right, okay, and shops. Prefer this. Doesn't really reduce the um, actual wealth of it very much. It's 200 as opposed to 160. Plus this provides public order, so why would anyone go for that? Apart from the fact that it's a bit cheaper. Um, yeah, just do it. It's a bit risky, though, because it's on the frontier. There's always a possibility of losing this... Uh, settlement. 
Hole Mirror. This settlement's not making much money, so let's not tax it. I don't want any rebellions. This needs to go. It's not providing anything of use. This... We don't need the food. I'd prefer the tax office. That, just leave that for now. We'll be able to convert it as of once... Oh, actually, I'm not too sure about that. Um, might even destroy that one as well. Fuck it. We're working quite well with uh, tax offices. Okay, Scythia, yeah, don't worry about that. This is already making a decent amount of money, and this settlement really hasn't been upgraded at all. Or, not very much. There's a lot that can be done to it. Let's make this a trade settlement. It doesn't provide much extra wealth. But fuck it, let's just go with it anyway. Yeah, need the money. And the public order. Yeah, look, why don't we just fucking build it? I mean, if you think about it, this settlement's not on the frontier. Really shouldn't be concerned about it. I don't want any rebellions. It'll just sit there making money. Well, that that's the plan anyway. I want plenty of these Adobe makers. It's gonna make me lots of cash. Think about getting rid of those for a different type of uh, forum type building. But it's not a priority just yet. We do need that. Good public order here. We're also going to need to look into this. When does that... Okay, that's not too far away. It would only take me two turns to get that. Low on cash now. Okay, Charax. This needs to go. Leave that be for now. That's that's really good. Can't upgrade it though to um to be of my faction. Or of my culture, I mean. Okay, and I think that's all we can do this turn. Let's just have a quick look at politics. We've got seventy one percent medium or low chance of civil war. This is slowly increasing back in my favor, which will provide me with factional bonuses. And diplomacy is probably going to be completely worthless. But let's see if I can get a peace treaty with Antony. I, I doubt it, though. Terms. No. Well, what about... No, they won't accept anything be because... Worried. Oh, hang on. Emissary. Interesting, because I don't really want to go to war with them. Be fearful if you come with false words, dripping with honeyed lies. Okay, now I'm just at war with Mark Antony. We'll worry about them another time, because they're likely to have a decent army. Take on the big motherfucker. I also got some cash out of it. That's always good. Um, so with that extra cash, let's see what we can spend. Yeah, because fuck my reputation. Who gives a shit? Okay, yes, upgrading that is perfect. Let's move on to the next turn. So, I suppose the initial hardship of this campaign is over. I've really secured my borders quite effectively now. It took a long time to get there, but... We're at the point now where I really can't see anything really threatening me, apart from perhaps a really disastrous civil war. But I think I've taken a lot of care to make sure that my enemy's factions or the enemy faction, or rival faction even, um, is completely useless. Civil War. Low Civil War chance. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I don't care if he's blackmailed. It only reduces gravitas. It's not really a big deal. It'll grow back. Man, 
ton of cash. Nobody did anything about anything. So if I have a look here, we've still we gained more influence. Gravitas just increases the rate at which we gain influence. It doesn't actually reduce influence itself. That guy's gained one Gravitas over the last turn. Good, and we've almost reached the the next level of uh, of um, political influence. Now these motherfuckers over here, even though they are trade partners of mine, let's see how much we're trading with them for. 606. Now I think by taking these settlements I'll earn a lot more than that. Plus, we'll get rid of them for revenge for what they fucking did to me over here, which of course I've since recovered. But what we need to do first is sabotage them. Good. And attack. Yes, declare war. I don't give a fuck if it's condemned. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to sabotage them just yet. Because I wouldn't mind it if they came into the fight and were completely annihilated. In fact, why don't you try and take this bitch down? Taking a small amount of attrition here because of swampland or something. Because the last thing we want is last thing we want is this motherfucker going back down south and sacking something. So just get rid of him now. Didn't take many casualties, so that's good. Now let's head back over here. I'd say that we can auto resolve this. Because my, like I said before, my army builds are not structured towards dealing with, um, with horse archer based armies. Even though they're inside the city there and it would actually be quite effective, auto resolve would probably yield a decent result. Enough at least for these guys to get to the next settlement and be at full strength. I don't think I lost any battalions. Motherfucker! God damn it. Well, that's odd. Um, just occupy it. Uh, then again. Yeah, occupy it. Red loot. Not occupy. Well, that's fucked. It's not such a big... It's not a really big deal, though. I mean, they have to come back down this way anyway. After they've dealt with this. Now, let's see if I can get a peace treaty with them. They're probably not going to accept this. No. Because, let's face it, what I did to them was pretty mean. Like, I give a fuck, though. Okay, you need to go up there. And stop them from recruiting, or, or whatever you can do. Ready for battle. That guy's taken a lot more damage, so you stand there, we'll force march them inside the city so they recover a little bit extra. So, currently 25 per turn there, to go to 25. Ah, it's not a big difference. Whatever. Okay, so this settlement... Uh, what are we going to do with this? Meeting ground, army recruitment capacity, no. Get rid of it. And this... No. Storage pit, let's convert that to this and convert this to what provides more money. Because I don't think we're going to have a problem with public order in a province that's got four settlements. Uh, yeah. Um, that's got more money and costs more. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's go with it. At your command. Okay then. Now then. Let's deal with the shit over here. You guys aren't in perfect shape yet. I am a this motherfucker hasn't moved. 
You should go and annihilate them. Cherex. Alright, so what do we need here? I think we need public water first. We'll deal with the food situation soon. Um, but what are we going to do with these guys, essentially? Are we going to send them to Adamatu? I think so. So I'm going to send these guys north. Oh, hang on. We have Antony starving over here. But these guys aren't exactly in perfect shape. Is it possible that you can make it to that battlefield? I fucking doubt it. Yeah. Come to Hatra. Move towards Edessa. Not a great degree of recovery. The other settlement was, uh, was getting a much higher degree. I wonder why that was such a big difference. So if I look over here... The amount of recovery here is 26. Is that due to your abilities? I'd say so. It's only extra 4%. Nope, I don't know. Don't know why you suck so badly. Could just be the province. Build it up then. Yeah, let's check that province again. Anything here that was uh, increasing replenishment? Nope. I don't know what the fuck is going on there, why that's different. Okay, so Dura has, of course, no garrison. Now, you need to take this down. Take that... Oh, wait, the Cappadocians, we're no longer at war with them, so we don't need to sabotage them. You... Move up this way. If we left the settlement... You need to head back to Armenia just quickly. Oh, it's all the way over here. Whatever, I'm going to force my you to Ketesaphon. Ketesaphon, or whatever the fuck it's pronounced. I don't give a shit. You be doing this, we need public order. Where's Hatra? Build it because we need it. Need things fixed up. I mean, I could possibly win. There's a possibility. It, it really does depend. Okay, how much movement speed? It'll use up just about everything. So if I go over there and it's not what I like to see, then I have to come back. And I wouldn't be able to make it. Because you've got to treat Rome seriously. I mean, he might just have an army full of dog shit, but my army isn't particularly grand either. Which is why I'm not attacking with them either, just yet. They need to recover. Um... 14, and then the rest are Zat Knights. Uh, uh, those aren't Zat Knights. These guys are. Good. After next turn, that'll be another full stack. My money seems all good as well. So we come over here, let's see what we can do. Now we'll use you as a spy. Let's see what's going on down here. They just don't have anything down here. Oh shit, that guy was actually doing some good over here. I mean, I could come down here and take that down. But then again, we don't know what's going on over here, so... Best to have a little bit of caution against Rome. That being said... Um, the more aggressive I am, the faster we can get rid of him. But I don't feel like having any more stupid losses. I mean, if he's starving over here, then perhaps the other armies are starving as well. What are you doing? I'm just going to sit there. Yep, just leave them. And you... Yeah, just sit there and wait. 
because they're recovering at they're recovering slowly fuck it makes me want to go over there and kill them what have they got for garrison at Antioch oh, they're not very strong ah fuck it let's go let's have at them odds are way in my favor so we could probably even auto resolve this don't think I lost any battalions and who knows maybe I'll get better replenishment here just occupy it no it's the same okay so what do we need to get rid of that's providing a lot of money it's exactly the same though as this except this actually provides extra wealth from mining so that's actually a little bit better that's like this and this combined the enamela but whatever this needs to go this off it goes trading port leave it for now And you just uh, recover as much as you can. And also, now we have access to view exactly what's going on over here. Which isn't much. I mean, they really don't have much over here. They must be fighting, you know, in Greece. Perfect for me. I've really caught Mark Antony at a bad time. It's usually the opposite way around. Okay, so we've still got some cash left over. Let's see. Let's go from the bottom up. Mostly looking for blank spots and things that are either going to really increase my technology or money. There's something around here that could have used a lot of upgrades. Yeah, here. So spending 3,900 to increase that wealth. The public order here seems fairly stable, so I think I can justify that. Mm, then again, I'm not overly sure. The difference is only minus two. It should be fine. Okay, let's use up a significant amount of money over here. Uh, don't worry about that too much just yet. Public order's not great. Build that. Don't worry about too much building in those recently conquered territories because we may end up losing them. Okay, money's looking good. Thanks to Antioch, providing a bit of extra income. And we'll be able to upgrade these things even further. Right, let's move on to the next turn. Fuck, Octavian's doing something important. He's taking his sweet goddamn time. Hopefully kicking Mark Antony's ass. Or at least keeping him busy. Yeah, whatever. So this motherfucker wants to make an attack. Uh shit. In hindsight, I should have made the attack against Palmyra. I don't like being on the defense. It's, oh, they've got elephants as well. I mean, we're going to win this. To be honest, I think I'm going to do better in an auto-resolve than manually. Because they're... I mean, they've got legionaries. And elephants. So, I'm going to go with this. I'm probably going to lose a few battalions, but we'll see. Yeah, a few, but they're close to Armenia, so it doesn't really matter. I think that was a better result than what I could have achieved myself. Because I'm not overly confident with these armies yet. 
That being said, I could have got some practice, but I'd rather be in a position where defeat wouldn't have lost me a settlement. Okay, so Galatia has joined my enemies. I don't give a shit. We'll deal with them. Ah, whatever. Something gravitas. Okay, so, so let's have a look. Uh, Seventy-two percent. How are we going with this? Almost made it into those seats. Okay, so there are rumors at court that a favored concubine wishes to place her son on the throne. News of this intrigue. Blah blah blah. Uh, just punish the bitch. Alright then, so we just finished researching this. That'll provide extra growth. We don't really need that that much. That could be effective. What about over here? What's this going to provide? Mm, useful, but... Not vital just yet. Maybe... No, we don't need that. It provides a little bit of wealth here and there, so yeah, let's get that. It only takes two turns. Alright. So, what you need are... Azat Knights. Now, in addition to that, we'll recruit someone else. Um, who has practically no influence. Shit. We've all got good in influence people here. That guy's got fucking 422. It's expensive to upgrade him. He provides... Eh, yeah, whatever. That's not really worth it, to be honest. get him. Raise an army as... yeah, that's fine, whatever. Get an upgrade and recruit more of those Azat Knights. Now, what you're going to be doing is actually delivering these Azat Knights, not only to them, but to these guys as well. To replace those that were lost. can't quite make it over there. Not in one turn, so you'll have to stand here. The only problem is that agent is probably going to sabotage us. Ready for battle. You have further orders? Since you're at full strength, haste, uh, no, always stay in my own territories where possible. Okay, you're almost at full strength, and we can certainly justify heading over to Adamatu because Antony is busy elsewhere. And according to this, we should be able to attack it next turn. You guys are a bit diminished. And you, you're, you're in reasonable strength. Okay, so we also need to deal with Galatia now. Let's see if I can actually get a peace treaty with them. Because I, I don't need to fight them right the now. Nope. You. What about Mark Antony? Although I don't want a peace treaty. I just want to know what my options you are. are they won't accept it. Of course, whilst I'm unreliable, no one's going to touch me. Egypt, welcome. they don't hate me. The They're the client state of... What the fuck? Shouldn't that be Cleopatra? No, oh, I don't even give a shit. Alright, so what's going on over here as well? Fucking clouds, piss off. Ooh, heavy winter up this way. This motherfucker's at, um, getting his stuff going. I don't think assassinating him is going to stop him from recruiting. But let's just try anyway. You never know, they might have changed things. Plus, it will give him some experience. 
Okay, and you up north as well. Okay, you're at near full strength. That's good. Make your way up here. Same with you. You don't need to stay in the settlement. No, they took a small amount of attrition. Okay, so what are you going to build? This and that. Sounds good. Public order is not great. Why is that? We've got a lot of provincial instability. Well, whatever. That'll go down turn by turn. We fight for you, my lord. I want you to come up north. Everything else around here can be upgraded as well. Um, let's see. We haven't had any manually resolved battles yet. Kind of a video without manually resolved battles. But I haven't seen a situation where I've needed to do one. It just saves so much time to auto resolve. I mean, there's no point manually resolving a battle that's not going to get as good results as an auto resolve. There's just no point to it. I mean, that was the thing with Medieval 1 and Rome... No, yeah, sorry, no, Medieval 2 and Rome 1, it did matter because you had to physically retrain your own units. They weren't automatically replenished. Whereas, I might take a few casualties with auto-resolve, but when they, um, in this at least, when I, at the end of the turn they just recover, so it doesn't, doesn't do anything. So it doesn't matter if I go into a battle and don't lose any casualties. Um, well, don't take any casualties. Um, these guys here... I should technically go hunt them down. How are they going over here? They're at full strength. Uh, what have they got again? Alright, so... My infantry are in really good shape. What I'm going to do here... Is... Kill him. Just auto-resolve will be fine for this. Who is this anyway? We're fighting some fuckhead. Um, good, didn't lose any battalions. Gives us some experience. Hopefully we can still make it to Palmyra. And we'll fight this manually, even though it's just a garrison. That's provided we actually can get there. Okay, we can. Because if I auto-resolve it, I'll lose cavalry. Good, that'll be use... Uh, no, well, it's not going to provide any extra ammunition. Actually, it doesn't give us very good odds. Shit, I thought they didn't have that many legionaries. Whatever. Oh, fuck. Last time I did a battle where I had this poor odds, I got fucking smashed. Although I didn't have Cart of the Axemen, I had other kinds of crap. These guys here need to not use up all their ammunition. These guys need to die by artillery fire. Okay, if things start turning to shit, withdraw, go back to Dura. Okay, it doesn't matter if we don't win this. Let's just do some damage. Nice and dry would help. Alright, now where would be a good spot to attack from? Now, over here, there's no fucking towers. Now, where's... Okay, there's that. Okay, so we can bash through here. And then move the artillery close by later on. Okay, so this is a perfect spot to attack from. There's no towers at all. Ammunition-wise, how much have they got? 19, yep. Yeah. Not really going to be able to utilize the cavalry at all. Because only as, only as a, um, a last resort should we use them. Um, Cartley Axemen, they're not going to be as good as Legionary, so we really need to make sure we pick our fights effectively. Okay then. First, let's wait and see what we've got up here. So we've got levies and shit. Okay, hang on, there's Legionaries up on the wall here. So we go, firstly, flammable rounds. 
Okay, first things first. What we need to do, I think... Blow this section up. Try and aim right there. See how much better that did? That was good. Ah, uh, don't shoot just yet. Just wait. Wait until there's more of them there. Now. Now it's perfect. Fucking do it. Do it right now. Look at them, they're fucking falling off the thing. That was shit. Come on, fucking get this shit together. Now's the perfect time. We're missing our opportunity. They're still falling off the fucking walls. The walls are breached. Now that was a good start. They must have lost at least a whole battalion of legionaries. Or a whole, whole cohort, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Same shit. Okay, now the next phase is we move, maneuver these guys around over here. Because what we want to do is angle this so that if we miss there, it well basically the shots bounce along this along this side here, doing maximum damage. So what other units do they have up here? Okay, levies. Now, what we can do... Because we certainly outrange these Romans, and there's no towers here. If we position our archers correctly, we get fucking free shots all over these bastards. Okay, wait, wait, wait stay back. Let's just... Let's just destroy some of these extra sections first. They're not in the best of formations, but you know, we'll, we'll, let's see. Okay, that's actually really shit. They completely missed that. Come back over here. Got plenty of time, so don't worry about that. The mere fact that these guys have managed to take out that many legionaries already is fantastic, and there's still plenty more to kill. And... shoot him. Fuck me, it's not doing any damage at all. The fuck does that work? Now it is. Come on, guys. Get your shit together. Fuck was that one thinking? Okay, we've used almost half the ammu uh, half the ammunition. Good. That on itself killed a few of them. fuck are you aiming for? That's it, come down here you bastards. done with these guys yet. These guys are bound to have taken down at least two battalions of legionaries. The walls are two sections destroyed there. Now, we probably don't have enough ammunition to destroy another section, but that's good enough. Now, what we'll do is we'll have these guys shoot at them up at the walls. We'll save their ammo for the town square.
Okay, make sure you've got a good angle. And what are we shooting at first? The legionaries. Getting closer. A couple of legionaries there. Have you got heavy shot? No, but that's fine. All right, just get rid of them. That should only take a volley or two. Stop that. Oh, look. Collateral damage to guys that were hidden. Because they've got 19 shots as well. But we can't actually see what's up there. What I think we need to do is have the general come around over here so that we can see. Okay, now they're visible. What the fuck do they think they're going to do? That's it, shoot these fucking velities. Good, they're taking massive damage. They're bound to fucking shatter. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I think they're coming around over here a little bit. Send the cavalry to go run them down. There's no one else around here that's going to shoot them. Okay, get out of there. Watch out for those fucking levies. I'm sure you'll be fine. I can't believe these fucking three men there are still hanging about. Our general is under attack. Okay, looks like they've abandoned the walls, which is good. And we've taken them down. Hang on, no, they've still got men up on the walls. Well, if they've still got men up on the walls... Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, stay there, bitch. Because we want to shoot you. Ah, oh, they've just disappeared. Watch out, there's... Watch out, the fucking plebs are coming. Oh, fucking hate plebs. They're dangerous bastards. Ah, oh, whatever. Just shoot them as well. Okay, the, the legionaries are standing right there, but I can't fucking see them. Alright, shoot the vigilies. Maybe we'll get some collateral damage on them. No, it's not working. Alright, we need to be able to see these goddamn legionaries. So how am I going to do that? I have an idea. If I can get these guys... Maybe have some visibility, or maybe if I can get them up on the walls, they might be able to have a look. What about from this angle? Here we go. Well, they were visible for a moment, but then they've gone. There's their vigilies. You can shoot them, right? I mean, it would be better if my cartily axemen were shooting at them, but well, well, we'll do what we can. Still got plenty of ammunition. They've already made quite a lot of kills. Okay, get up on the walls. What are these? Okay, their legionaries are now visible. Good. Shoot them. Actually, you're a bit close. You need to get further back so you can angle them properly. That's it. Kick their motherfucking ass. Shooting them in the back as well. Perfect. Okay, they've gone invisible again. 
Which is weird because I should be able to see them from here. The battle is turning in our favor. Already, we haven't even really gotten to the fight yet. Those legionaries are still there, but we can't... Oh, hang on. No, no, don't worry about it. So what are we going to do? Don't worry about that. Alright, let's let's get inside. There's legionaries up there, but whatever. They're not going to do much. Okay, I want you to come in closer. Take him down. Only a handful of them left. Good job they're shattered. Almost out of ammunition, but they've done an excellent job. We don't need to take this tower, don't worry about that. Okay, guys, get inside. I reckon their forces are waiting for us right there. Here they are. Now, it's just a matter of whether or not we can beat them, which we should be able to because it said the battle is turning in our favour. That being said, they are legionaries. And there's still a lot of them. Also, you guys have your own javelins as well. Which is something that the Noble Spears don't have. Not that it particularly matters. Yeah, they can't shoot from that range. Just inch closer bit by bit. Just want to know what I can get away with. Okay, artillery's ready to fire, but their thin lines make it probably not worth doing. Alright, take him down. So now it all depends on whether my... Oh, hang on. Yeah, they seem to be killing the legionaries at a decent rate. So we've got the general, he's got abilities that are not really that useful. Okay, artillery, I want you to be firing. Let's see, don't be using that. Hopefully they get into a bit of a mosh pit here and we'll shoot them. And do not fucking hit our own troops. Can't bloody well stress that enough. My guys aren't dying at any fast rate, so yeah, the battle... Oh, hang on, over here they are a little bit. But at the same time, we're also kicking their ass. Yeah, they're getting a few extra kills, not, not heaps. Okay, archers, I'm gonna... One of our units has used all its ammunition get a bit of an angle in on them and shoot them. I think that'll help. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't think they really got many kills. Oh, it's like one. So just do as much damage as you can. Done, move back. 
And fuck it, just... We've got like one shot left. Oh, it takes a lot to ta get rid of uh, a legionary unit. So what we're going to do is motherfucking charge right into their back. With the general. Whilst trampling. Needs a bit of... Needs a bit of a... Bit of time to pick up the pace though, so... Give him some room to, to get there. Essentially, the battle's going slow enough that it doesn't really matter. That, um... We're taking our time. Had this been before this patch, it would have been to my disadvantage. I would have had to move quite quickly. Alright. Do it. Right, this should absolutely fucking smash the Romans. Okay, so their kills are currently at 58. Let's see how much this does. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. That was actually fantastic. Okay, they're getting a big mass route going. I didn't lose any of my men either. And now let's rinse and repeat. They're fresh again. Not the best charge, though. I think we're going to get a heroic victory for this one. I haven't lost many men at all. Decisive? Oh, go fuck yourself. Good, and I don't think there are any other Roman armies or Antony's armies around here, but we'll soon find out. I should be able to defend this uh, settlement if I am attacked, though. Alright, that's worth a bit of money. Ready for battle. Occupy it for the meantime. My income's gone down, what the fuck? Oh, because I'm not taxing the territory. If I was, I'd be making a lot more. And I don't see any forces of Antony, really. Okay, looking good. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So the situation's looking very much a lot better. Be able to take these, no problem. I just need to reinforce these few units that were lost. Very replaceable. And I'm currently sitting on... 42 territories across 11 provinces about to reach Imperium level 6 with a low civil war chance. Anyway, like and subscribe. Part 22 is next and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.